A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Part 2, Lesson 264. I am surrounded by the love of God. Father, you stand before me and behind, beside me, in the place I see myself and everywhere I go. You are in all the things I look upon, the sounds I hear, and every hand that reaches for my own. In you, time disappears, and place becomes a meaningless belief. For what surrounds your son and keeps him safe is love itself. There is no source but this, and nothing is that does not share its holiness, that stands beyond your one creation, or without the love which holds all things within itself. Father, your son is like yourself. We come to you in your own name today, to be at peace within your everlasting love. My brothers, join with me in this today. This is my salvation's prayer. Must we not join in what will save the world along with us? When we talk about your son, understand it to mean the universal your son. Okay? It includes everyone and everything. Everyone and everything. And I love this, in you time disappears. There is no linear, and there's no time. There's no time. We are experiencing it. We are experiencing time in this life form. But in essence, eternity means timelessness. And so therefore we are eternal. We're not yet. But that used to trip me up so many times when I was following Albert Einstein's teachings and really looking at some of these simple things for me to comprehend as a layman, just really looking into it. I want you to understand that you are surrounded by the love of God. Now, what is the love of God? It's that pureness of love itself, not judging, unbiased, no prejudice whatsoever, no thought of ill will, no thought of harm. And for a lot of people that grow up and grew up in a faith of hellfire damnation, it's complete lies. There's no scorebook because the eternal part of you is blameless, guiltless, shameless, fearless. It's complete and utter love. But while you are living here, you on earth and you're having this experience within your consciousness within the experience itself there are things you can do that you think harm another and so you can and and you you have the presence of mind the presence of mind to know where we talk about morality to know this harms this doesn't do good unto others we're here to save the world now, it's a very arrogant thing to, to say, if you're not saying it with the right intent, to save the world is to point out, hey, to shine your light and say, hey, there's another way. Look at the consciousness and pure awareness of who you really, really are and understand that that source of love that created you, the eternal part of you that you've always been and always will be, that is who and what surrounds you forever and ever and ever. So sit with it, sit with it and know that this love is real. This love is safety. This love is true. Until next time, take care.